The year 2020 has started, yet another year, and we are already in the grip of the flow of time. Time has gripped us all in its flow, and we often don't realize that flow. The flow of time is so fast that we realize we have entered another new year only when the current year is over and perhaps we are caught in the realization we achieved a lot or we are yet to achieve a lot or we could have achieved more. So the flow of time is often a recognition, an awareness of our own personality, our own perceptions and uh, perhaps also the dreams which we had and which we perhaps will also have for a forthcoming new year. So the year which has started is flowing and that flow will continue. But then the most important message is to remind us that we have to keep moving. We have to keep moving or at least we should not be allowing the flow of time to stop. We should be part of that flow of time. We should be fluid and we should be flowing along with the flow of the time. The time flow will take care of us, but the challenge comes when we try to resist the flow, when we try to stop and uh, think about our past, think about our future. To be in the present is to be recognizing and respecting the flow of the time. At the same time, it's interesting that what stops us from being the part of that flow of the time, if we are all moving, if we all very much sincerely wish to be taken care of by the flow of time and be in the motherly hands of time, what is that which stops us? What are the blocks? Well, they may not be called as blocks, but perhaps reminders or perhaps enhancers, or perhaps big teachers. So what are those teachers? The first teacher is of course the roadblock called people. Some of the people whom we feel are stopping us, or some of those individuals with whom we are stuck. We are not able to move forward. We are stuck with individuals either because of our love for them, or because of our hatred for them, or because we just cannot get over them. So people also play a big role in allowing us to be part of the flow of time. Keep moving, keep moving beyond the people whom we are stuck or we are uh, have susceptible to be stuck. Now, the other challenge which can be a block in allowing us to be part of the flow of time is desire. That uh, we have desires which uh, perhaps are not in tune with our personality, are not in tune with the circumstances, and also desires which are not allowing us to expand ourselves, to allowing us to enhance our awareness and be inclusive. Those desires which are self-centered desires, where the individual is focused but not a group of people, not, a, not the collective, also removes the whole experience of empathy from us, compassion from us. And if we don't have empathy and compassion, uh, it's very difficult for us to work with a team and also perhaps include more people in our team. So those desires which take, a, take away the empathy and compassion uh, values from us, we have to be careful. Uh, the third block are uh, perceptions we have. The perceptions we have about people, perceptions we have about ourselves, perceptions we have about the scenarios we are in. And perceptions guide us. Perceptions guide us to form worldviews, perceptions guide us to respond and react to situations. So always being aware of perceptions, our own perceptions, continuously refashioning our perceptions, not getting stuck with one way of thinking 
but perhaps multiple ways of looking at a problem, a multi-perspectival approach to any single or simple issue will help us to enrich our own experience and also to know much more than what we think we can know. And the fourth challenge, which again is not a challenge, perhaps is a great enhancer, is the purpose. What is the purpose in flowing with the time? That's a big question. But that question we have to ask as we flow with the time and not being away from the flow of the time. Some of us have a tendency to stop and look at the time flow and ask what is the purpose. That purpose alienates oneself from oneself and also oneself from a larger community, the larger world and people around us. So flow with the time and then discover the purpose. The purpose is not to be asked in an alienated, detached manner, but purpose is to be discovered as we experience or in every experience. Purpose is perhaps the greatest experience we can have in our daily life, in our moment to moment life. Because purpose is experiencing great delight and also the inclusion of space and time with which we are always carried in and out of our experience. Basically life is itself is purpose. Living itself is purpose. And the time flow reminds us that the purpose is to recognize the flow of time, to be with time, and at the same time, not to too much worry about time, but just be harassed by time, just be in the embrace of time, of the mother time. Thank you. Be with time.